Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and today is episode number three of the Advent Calendar series. 24 videos leading up to Christmas Day. I hope you are enjoying them. Today we have something that was never done before on the channel. We are looking at all the type of different foams, compounds that exist and we look at the geometry numbers uh, that correspond to these foams uh, so that to have a sort of um, not a hierarchy but a, a ranking of you know the the soft foams and the harder hard foams i think this can be helpful um, to have an idea of how they rank now um, maybe compare it in the future how, how you know this will uh, evolve and also i think this is um, a way of looking back on 2021 seeing all the different foams that existed and just how they uh, were measured here uh, in the painting cave with the geometer tool. Um, without no further ado, let's begin and you will have on your screen a graph. As you can see, the lower number that we have um, is for the um, Nitro Piba, which uh, is the Nitro Elite foam on the Puma Deviate Elite. Unique foam, it's the only one um, using a nitrogen infused uh, Piba foam. It ranked around 2022, so you know it's it's showing a range. It, it's actually one value, but I had to put a range for the for the graph. I think it was uh, 20 something, uh, 20.5. So you have uh, that. That's the softest foam that was measured, the softest compound. Then we move on to nitro TPU fuel cell foams on uh, New Balance uh, Rebel V2, RC Lead V2, RC Lead V1, uh, for that matter. And um, those foams, they have the lowest score was 22 and the highest one was 25. So just a bit above um, Nitro Piba, we have Nitro TPU, uh, the low density autoclaved version that we found on those shoes that I mentioned um, one second ago. Then we move on, we have um, EVA TPU blend, um, which is this is controversial, but um, the Light Strike Pro compound, so the Light Strike Pro that you uh, found on the Adios Pro 1, Adios Pro 2, Prime X, uh, now the Takumi Sen, but also the Adios 6 Boston 10. Um, starting at 24 on the geometry scale, going up to 32, so um, still quite, quite soft. Um, now, it's a good moment, I think, also to, to um, remind you, this is a general caveat, Geometer scores do not necessarily translate to the right of the shoe. So, you know, geometer score can be very low and uh, the shoe should supposedly be very soft. It may not be as soft as the geometer score suggests. This is because the geometer score is just one thing in the whole equation of how a shoe rides. Um, there is, you know, the compression set of, of a shoe, how, how much the foam compresses. There is the, the last of the shoe, the feet of the shoe. All of that plays a, a role, the plate, the geometry many many different things and in the end we all we are all different and we may have different uh, subjective feelings so you know the rankings here are just numbers um, sometimes they translate to the rides of, of those shoes that i mentioned those foams and sometimes they do not um, then we move on to eva plus olefin, olefin block compound this is a foam that, um, a compound that was found on the Salomon S Lab Pulsar, the Nova Blast, um, V1, V2, uh, what else? The on running Helion uh, midsole on the Cloud Stratus, the Cloud Boom Eco. All those reviews, you can find, find them on the channel if you're new here. Welcome, by the way. Uh, so, EVA plus Olefin Block compound starting at 25, going up to 43. Then we move on to pure, if you will, uh, PMAX. Um, TPEA, the, the scientific name, if you will, uh, starting at 27, going up to 44, and 44 seems like a very hard value for a very hard number, uh, high number and hard uh, geometer um, for PIBA. This is the um, upper layer, I believe, on uh, the next percent, the Vaporfly. Two layers there, one very soft, one a bit firmer. Still, both are, are PIBA. So PIBA going from 27 to 44. And you have PIBA also on uh, 2021 shoes. You have the Endorphin Line, uh, Power Run PB, Endorphin Pro, Endorphin Speed, uh, Metaspeed Sky, Metaspeed Edge. 
some places in, in shoes like the Kraft uh, CTM Ultra, CTM Race Rebel that had little inserts of Piba. Um, so yeah, Piba is in, in many shoes nowadays. Uh, Reebok, of course, but was not uh, tested on the channel this year. Um, then we move on to nitrogen infused EVA, um, starting at 28, going up to 30. This is the nitro foam uh, from Puma. Puma deviates, um, velocity, liberates, magnify. Uh. Then we move on to CO2 EVA, so CO2 infused EVA, also called um, supercritical EVA. And this starts at uh, 30 and goes up to 35. Um, this is the foam that you would find on the Sketches uh, Hyperburst compound, the DNA Flash uh, from Brooks, and many others. Uh, this is those that I have uh, right now on the top of my mind, um, but many others foam uh, are super critical EVA foams. Then we have regular traditional EVA starting at 32, going up to 44, so a very wide range of values for regular EVA. And it makes sense, EVA has very different applications and again, with playing a bit with you know, compression and other metrics, you can have a different flavor of EVA. So big range here. And then I added just the, the, the rubber outsole just for, for reference, um, starting at 45, going up to 85. So here again, huge range. Um, that's also because the thickness of the rubber, uh, the foam on which it's placed, um, and so on can play a major role in different uh, rubber geometry scores. This is it for today, quite a geeky video, uh, but the advent calendar has many, uh, many videos, so many different uh, flavors of videos, uh, if, you, if you will. Don't hesitate to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more geeky content and also more, you know, um, different content. Um, enjoy your run today guys, enjoy your ride, go beyond your limits and see you tomorrow for a very fun week. Bye bye.